Hello everyone, welcome to the session. This session is the part of our ongoing payment processing series. We are going to see how to create test account on the cyber source. We will see the cyber source business center or portal overview. And we will also see how to create the production or live account on the cyber source. Before we see how to create the account, let's understand the difference between test and live account. Test account is also known as the evaluation account or the sandbox account. Test account is used for the testing your integration with cyber source and send all your lower environments payment data like local environment, dev environment, queue environment or staging environment, transaction data, data to the test account. It works with fake cards or we can say the sample cards which are accepted by the cyber source to complete the transaction. As soon as you register yourself on cyber source, test account is created. So these are the important points related to test account. Test account you should not use in the production environment. Now let's see the live account. In live account, the merchant sends the real payment data. Sample cards does not work with live account live account you will have to use the real cards you cannot get this account until you have the contract with cyber source to get this account you will have to raise the request in the support center for the learning purpose or for testing your integrations you can use the test account let's move further now let's see how to create test account. First you need to visit this link. As so you click on the link, you will land up here on this page. Here you need to fill all the details. The first field is merchant ID. So merchant ID is the value which will recognize your company in the cyber source system. In all the communication, you need to use this merchant ID. We should follow few conventions naming convention while choosing the value of merchant id you should try to use the your company name in the merchant id for example your company name is abc then you can use the abc as merchant id suppose you are using this merchant id for the us country then you can give like us abc us you are using for canada then you can give for ca Suppose you are using this account for the USD currency, then you can give USD. Basically, value of the merchant ID should be should be meaningful, and it also should be unique in the cyber source system. And then you need to enter the first name, last name. Here you can give the name of the person from your company who will be interacting with cyber source. Then company name, your company name, your URL, business email. Give your company email ID and all the notifications all the comms you will be getting on this email id the phone number company phone number which and it should be reachable then you need to enter the address of your company here i am using test 8 for now company also business, website url is optional and then business email in the business email i will use my personal email id then the phone number you can give you should give some valid phone number but you can use any 10 digit number then country so here i will be giving india and then the zip code and the zip code so i am using 22600 for now then you need to accept it and then click on the create account once you get this message means your account created successfully and this is the merchant id for this account once we get this page you need to check the email which which was used while creating the account you can see i have got one email from cyber source let's open it and this is the email once you open the email you will have link to create a merchant level user and we need to use this organization id so this is basically a merchant id which we entered while creating an account 
and this is the email id so you need to click on this to create the merchant level user so let's click on it once we click on the link we will be here so you need to enter the organization id which is the merchant id and us then contact email so this is the email which i used while creating account then you need to submit once you submit you will have option to enter the username so let's give some username here test 9 last name and, and in that username you can give some unique value which will identify this user so i have used test 9 test 9 now let's click on next step now you need to give the password let's i have entered the password let's click on the create user you can see you can see user created successfully now you can with this user you can log into the cyber source folder let's log in let's enter all the details abc usd this is the organization id or merchant id username which we used test 9 test 9 and the password once we enter all the details you need to click on login and you will have a one time code on the email id so let's see the email id if we have received the code or not yeah you can see the subject would be cyber source identification code so you need to use this code and then click on confirm pass code and then click on continue now we have logged into the test environment of cyber source so you can see all the details here merchant id this and this test 9 test 9 is the user and we have a different options here that we are going to see one by one now we will have quick overview on the features available on the cyber source portal or business center so you need to expand this left navigation and you will have all the options available here there is also a official documentation present on each of the feature in detail we'll share this link in the description of the video for now we will have quick overview on each of the option so first is the virtual terminal terminal is basically used for the one-time payment in the one-time payment merchant can do the moto transaction next is the batch upload batch upload is used to upload the transaction file and to initiate the transaction so normally this option is used by the merchant if they are initiating the transaction in bulk next is the transaction management in the transaction management you can hop you will have the option to search the transaction and you can also have the option to perform the action on the transaction like to initiate the settlement or to make the transaction void all these actions next is the decision manager decision manager is the fraud detection scheme or the model offered by the cyber source so if decision manager finds any transaction suspicious then it will mark that transaction as review so that it can be reviewed by the business team then tools there are few options available in the tools audit search and the account of data the reports there are few standard reports available you can use those then the payment so this is the important section and in payment it is used for the key generation for the security keys you can generate the security keys from here security keys for the rest api soap api for the secure acceptance profile so all type of key you can generate from this section you can also enable disable particular digital payment the wallet payment samsung google pay apple pay you can also do the configuration related to 3ds payment authentication you can also do the change related to bab hook so all these options you will have under payment configuration next is the account management under account management you will have different options related to accounts like if you want to create a 
user for your new team team member then you can do from here user you can create new user you will see one user exist the one which we created then we also have the other option like account information you can see the merchant account information the address which we provided and all so these are the different options available on the business center or cyber source portal and as per need we can use these options so we have discussed briefly about features of business center cyber source business center or cyber source portal now let's move further let's discuss about how to create live or production account first thing to note is you cannot get this account or production account until you have the contract with cyber source once you have contract with cyber source we you can request the production account there are two cases number one if you want to use the same mid in production as the test account then no need to create the account again and second is if you want to create new mid for production then you need to create the test account for the new mid following the same process which we already discussed to create the test account including the merchant level user creation with the new mid which you will use for the production you need to create the test account and then also you need to create the merchant level user once you have finalized the mid or organizational id for production you need to follow the point three contact cyber source team here let's click on this link once you click on that contact sales link you will end up here and you need to fill up all the details and submit then cyber source sales team will contact you for the further discussions after that you need to follow point four you need to log in the support center with your test user and raise the case for mid activation to live so let's click on this link will end up here and you need to sign in with your test credential you need to log in with your test credential once you enter the detail it will ask for the code sent on the email address i have entered my passcode now confirming it and you will see here support and click on the support center you will be direct to support center now here now you are on the support center page in the now you need to click on the support cases once you click on the support cases you will have option of mid configuration request this request is to activate the mid for production so this is the mid i want to activate for the production then you need to click on the mid activation here you need to mention the mid detail you need to mention the processor detail the name of the processor so what is the processor configuration you can click on this link and then understand what you need to enter here you need to select the environment production once you enter the processor configuration you need to enable the service enablement means which service you want to enable for that particular mid this mid service of uh, token management service of secure acceptance and service of uh, these are the services which will not come these are the services which will not be enabled by default you will have to tell them that you need to enable these service so once you are done with all the details you can submit it and then if if there is any other details are pending the cyber source uh, team will contact you for the further details if everything is fine it will take around three to five days to activate the account for the production use the whole process of account activation in product is also mentioned on this below official link so let's visit this 
once you click on that link you will end up here so you can see how to request organization id activation you can follow the step one by one to understand the whole process once you get the confirmation from cyber source team that your account is activated then you need to create the merchant level user for the production environment so how you need to create first you need to budget the test environment with your test credential and under account management you will have an option to create user for production and there you need to create the user for production once your production user is created you need to log in here let's click on this link so this is the production business center link once once you click on that link to log in the production business center you will end up here and you need to fill all the details here and the submit so you will notice in the url the test is missing if you want to move to test from here you can click on the test login also so it will redirect you to the business center of test environment this is the whole process of getting the account created for production use that's all for this session thanks for watching see you in the next video